Hello friends, today I will show you my book, the first book which is here, this is Fluid Mechanic Concept and Centrifugal Pump Design Book. So the, the pages look like this but on Amazon if you see the hard copy page it's different because uh, it's based on the international standard, it's, uh, they have given the ISBN number also. So they changed the book cover page a little bit. So this is the front front page and this is the back page of my book and this is around 85 page book. So today I'm going to explain so what are all things in this book actually which I have covered for chemical engineers, uh, mechanical engineers and petroleum engineers. They can use this book to get solid concept in fluid mechanics and uh, centrifugal pump design. See why this book is required in this way, fluid mechanic concept and centrifugal pump design. Because I have written this book to make sure that once the student read concept, they should also learn how these concepts are applied in um, real engineering field and or real industry because most of the academic book they are just giving theoretical concept and uh, problem solving skills which are not uh, very much industry based so this book is based on the real industry demand what they need from an engineering graduate once they graduated from their college and they go for a job search and they they find it very hard to get job because they cannot give the answer to the interviewer from industry so this book will fulfill that gap that if the student read this book with uh, their academic subject like they have fluid mechanics subject in core subject in their academics so with that book, if they read this uh, compact size, 85 page books, with that book, so they will get solid concept and they will be able to solve any academic and competitive uh, or industrial problems related to these subjects. They can also score very high in gate, uh, gate exam, which is India's very prestigious exam for uh, 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 engineers and IES Indian engineering services exam also so this book will be very helpful I recommend that this book the faculty of uh, colleges they should recommend this book for uh, as a reference book when they are uh, during the semester they are teaching this subject and they are telling a student some of the reference books so they should also give recommendation to this book this book will be very helpful in a compact size and a student will not take much time to cover it because I have not uh, uh, filled this book with unnecessary material. This is purely conceptual book and it will teach directly from concept to design, how to design. So let me show you the, this is author page, this is all about me and uh, this is a preface, this is all about the book. So what, what is this book and uh, for whom this book is written and what is uh, why this book is written. This is introduction that how to read this book and uh, what are the things covered in this book. And this is my index. I have not uh, uh, divided this book into the chapter. Um, in spite of that, I have divided this book into the number of topics. So here there are a list of 43 topics so and uh, unit conversion. So I have started this book with very basic concept of Bernoulli equation applications. And then I, I have given the concept of uh, this entire fluid mechanics subject with the example of centrifugal pump because it's the most versatile equipment used in the industry and in the pump design all the fluid mechanics when you design a pump uh, you will see that all the fluid mechanic concept and the fundamental is ut utilized for designing the pump that's why i have taken the example of centrifugal pump it's not an example it's a detailed and expert design uh, concept 
in this book for a centrifugal pump. Even those who are doing the pipe sim steady state hydraulic study or Olga study for uh, surge analysis, flow assurance uh, analysis uh, using Olga, PipeNet or Pipeline Studio, TLNet, TZNet, whatever it is. So if there is a pressure source of pump, so sometimes there are one pump, two pump in parallel series. So you, you will find this book is very helpful to give in detail insight how the performance curve and characteristic curves are uh, plotted for the pump in individuality or in a combination of series or uh, a parallel. You will see in this book, these are the topics covered, these are very fundamental topics. And this is the legend I have shown here because some of the legend I have used inside the book. So you will see this book. So this is about the Bernoulli equation application. And see this is the detailed Bernoulli equation I have given. It's not like uh, it, uh, given in the academic book. It's entirely different. It's giving you all the things which is required to a industry uh, knowledge engineer. So see, assumption, so assumption I have given, limitation I have given, application I have given, and I have given the derivation of this uh, Bernoulli equation in a very fundamental way, how to apply it and how to solve the problems. See, uh, continuity, continuity equation also I have given in, in same manner like a mass, so this is also the diagram depicting the basic starting calculation for a pump and uh, I have also included the suction piping sizing or, and discharge piping sizing using Moody friction and Darcy Darcy equation so this all you will get it here so this is all and this is all about the pump so how the pump is delivering power uh, taking power so this all these things. This is explanation of pump parts, and this is how pump produce pressure, how to design pump, what are the parameters need to calculate. So these are the thing. This is the NPSH basic definitions, and uh, uh, on on the next um, points I have considered NPSH in a detailed how to calculate it. Here first I have given the basic uh, definition of uh, NPSHA. This is NPSHR and how to calculate the pump impeller diameter which is very useful for a mechanical design engineer and NPSHR normally it is given by vendor but I have I have given the concept how what is it and how they calculate because this here the most of the academic books don't give the clear idea about the NPSHA and NPSHR and how to calculate the diameter. So this is the how to select pump impeller type and pump impeller geometry. So I have given the affinity law, I have given the pump specific speed, the very critical topic for a mechanical design engineers need to know for the, uh, this uh, specific speed. And the pump suction and discharge piping loop, how the pump loop is designed in a uh, real design industry. So this is that loop and uh, how are the, uh, what are the component to be included in PNID, which is process instrumentation diagram, which is uh, useful in uh, design as well as in operating companies to know the process. This is, uh, I have listed what are the things which is in pi piping, pump discharge side and pump suction side and on the pump casing. This is the pump suction discharge piping hydraulic calculation. Hydraulic calculation means the pressure drop and the sizing of uh, a uh, suction piping and discharge piping. So this is a complete fundamental with the control valve installed. And this pump control valve pressure drop calculation also included because there is a flow control valve at the discharge of the piping and the recirculation line of pump. So here you see this is, uh, I have given the pump NPSH A calculations so it, it is in detailed, you will come to know everything if the suction tank is open into atmosphere, if the suction tank is closed, if the suction tank is open to atmosphere or below the pump suction eye level which we call it ne negative suction lift and here so NPSHA formula given in a detail. So pump dis uh, discharge head calculation also I have given in very fundamental way so anybody even a beginner can understand very easily with these diagrams and these uh, definitions and depictions. So 
pressure differential head calculation also I have given set of pressure calculation I have given in a very fundamental way this is now the start of the pump characteristic curves how the pump characteristic curves uh, look like and what are the things to understand so pump performance curves and this uh, pump system resistance curve how it is generated how to draw it on excel even by hand i have included all the calculation and about the pump operating points how the operating point varies when the pump is uh, running on different speed or different with different impeller diameters this is pump power consumption calculation i have given the pump operating and control philosophy how the pump operate and what are the controlling parameters and how to control it and, and this is pump minimum recirculation line why we provide it and what are the flow we we need to recirculate during um, um, st for the stable flow so pump discharge line i have also included the pump discharge line pizza high high and uh, uh, sorry pressure high high and temperature high high triple arm set points calculation how to calculate it and how to set those pressure trip and temperature trip on the pump discharge line so here you can see this is the dcs symbol this is the uh, uh, plc symbol because the dcs is for controlling mainly and the plc is we use dedicated for the trip system so this pump and this is uh, I have give, given the pump PSV, TR, TSV, and TRV sizing, which is pump pressure safety valve, temperature safety valve, or temperature relief valve. So we uh, why we provide it, where we provide it, and what is the use of this. And I have provided this uh, all the things in this book, which is required to know in from very basic fundamental to advanced. This is cavitation, backflow, or reverse flow. Why it happens? What are the causes? What are the um uh, problems with this so this all i have given this is how the cavitation occurred this curve so with the explanation this is how to start pump because normally the people is confused at how to start a pump so it depends on different type of impeller geometry so i have explained it here very carefully and completely this is the pump capacity and head controlling keeping fixed impeller diameter and uh, so this all diagram is showing how the curves are varying with the change in uh, speed and here it's showing with the change in impeller diameter here it's showing how the pump operating point is varying when the flow is reducing and when the flow is increasing so you, you will see a lot of fundamental things in this book and here is uh, when the speed is very between n1 to n2 so this point shifting and how the percentage opening of a control valve is varying and how the how this control valve opening changes the system resistance curve so this is pump capacity and head control keeping speed constant so this pump capacity and head control using recirculation and orifice if we put provide orifice or so this also is one of method to control the capacity and the head of the pump so this pump casing and this here i have given the pump casing flow temperature rise during recirculation we need to know because we have to set the temperature high high trip and the discharge line based on that so this all is given with the depiction of the diagram this is pump capacity control usb fd or gear drive nowadays a variable frequency drive is uh, very much used in this industry because it's an energy saving device so it's depicted how it is changing and why it is useful uh, as compared to gear drive or other drives so this is uh, how to read pump vendor curves characteristic curves so the, the here i have shown everything how these curves vary in the proportionality of the curves and type based and the impel head versus flow curve based on the impeller and geometry so this you can see now here you can see the system resistance versus flow curve is a square parabolic say why it is so so i have explained everything in a this is in pshr versus flow curves so this showing you sweet zone where the pump should operate and uh, which is the best operating zone for the pump so this uh, their power versus flow curves efficiency versus flow curves so you will see everything in this book and uh, you need not to read any other book after reading this book for fluid mechanics and uh, pump design 
So I, this is my guarantee actually. How to generate pump performance curve using vendor pump, pump characteristic curves. So this will give you the step-by-step uh, -step guide how to generate a pump curves. The similar to this, even you can draw by using hand calculation or on Excel also, these curves, which is not covered in any books. And this is also how the best operating point is uh, moving uh, by changing uh, by the movement of the system resistance or by the variation of the system resistance. This is also how we develop the static head, suction static head and the discharge static head. So these are the things. So this is a complete pump design example with exhaustive calculation and how system, how to generate the pump curve, uh, including the system resistance curve from step by step for all the calculations. So here you can learn everything which is required. This is for parallel and series operation curves, how to generate, what are the fundamental to generate these curves. So these are the things I have included. So this is pump series operation, H versus Q curves, how to generate. I have given the calculation. You can also do by your hand manually and you can learn the basic fundamentals of all these things. So this is pump parallel operation also. I have included everything so you can read this book step by step and very compact size book you need not to spend more than a month in this book you will learn everything and this is the detail and design applications and example this i have included some table which is required like roughness factor this is equivalent length for calculating the equivalent length and uh, for modi friction factor calculation this is this i have included the modi friction Moody diagram for calculating the friction factor when the neural number is in turbulent range. So this is water vapor pressure, some of the value I have given because uh, for calculation of NPSHA you need water vapor pressure. You need, uh, if the fluid is water then you need water fluid um, vapor pressure if it's uh, something else, uh, some other fluids. So you have to use the vapor pressure in a similar way. Even you can use the Antonio equation to calculate the vapor pressure of other fluids. If you know the Antonio constant, this is pipe fitting equivalent lens that I'm included and this is K factors. So which is used for calculating the fitting pr uh, pressure drop across a fitting. So you need this K factor. So I've included for most of the material used in the industry. So this is my end of the book. So hope you will like my book. Please comment if you need something else or uh, you find that this should be in this included in this books. So thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel and my book review. Please buy it and enjoy the concept of fluid mechanics. You will really like it. It's a low cost book. In India, it's only $2.95. Uh, so you can buy this book from Amazon if you want to buy a high quality, very high quality book, which is a bit costly on Amazon. Uh, the hard copy is available in unlimited and it's uh, open to any country. Wherever you live, you can demand. They will, uh, the book will be available across the globe from Amazon store. And you can buy the soft copy of this book from Instamojo and from Petro uh, from uh, Amazon Kindle store also available. So I am writing the series of this uh, uh, such kind of books for students uh, to, to those who really want to learn the industrial concept with their academic concepts. Thank you very much once again. Bye bye.